Welcome to another speed paint. This time we're going to jump straight into the line work and we have some D&D stories for you. But healers in everything are what really, like in so many things, not just in, you know, in, in so many things, in MMOs and everything, like they, they become like, nobody wants to be the healer. But the person who does take on the role is literally the most crucial. You become the most important thing on the team, which is... It's really interesting because you played a character that was a pacifist, didn't Yes, you? I played a pacifist character, which basically this character, it, she couldn't... Could, oh would yeah, not it was attack. a girl, because yeah. I was playing a guy and you were like, oh, I'm going to make it a girl. Um, so Samantha was um, a platinum dragonborn and she was all about upholding Bahoma and all of the kind of like all of the good things and she was a healer and she you know was very morally just and things like that oh my um, she, she was a, because also my character was like some dodgy ass rogue and he was like just, and she, just kill him so she was a cleric she just was a life cleric person. which means she was all about healing um and honestly she had no weapons um in exchange she, for her having she, no weapons all of that stuff what I was allowed to get given was a set of plate armor to begin with, and that's it. That's literally what she had, a plate armor and a backpack. Um, but she was a healer, and she never attacked anything. But it didn't matter, because she was so crucial to the team dynamic, because she was the only healer, pretty much. The only one who could do good healing, big, chunky heals, and she had a lot of them. And also, because she did nothing else, she would always heal you. Yeah. Because she could not do anything else. Um, and it made for her to be a very, and I think it made a very dynamic character, and I, I really enjoyed playing it. Um, and that whole team was bored, dynamic. Though. I did get a bit bored in combat because obviously I could do nothing but heal, but it was still very fun to role play the character. And role playing that team was amazing. Yeah. That group it was amazing for that. Honestly, it I was. really enjoyed. I was the actually. The only thing um, that let me down about that, and this is in no mean to against the that, DM, was Andrew, but. Was that was the, I was playing um, Harry? <laughs> no, no, no. Was the amount of NPCs actually Harry helped with that? See, got rid of oh, <laughs> that's a funny story. Yeah. No, that's true. Um, do you want to tell it? Or do I can tell it. Um, so as we've established many times already, uh, Harry is my favourite character that I have, and um, so I played Harry in this uh, in the same group as Samantha. So that was an interesting mix because Harry, he's 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 bit dodgy and he was a f he's a thief um he i think he's the first one in our campaigns to have killed people in the group no he is yeah so what happened is as part of his backstory i made him have really bad like he was very paranoid about stuff in his backstory so much so that he he, he got really suspicious of um this person in the group called Veronica because she mainly just stayed behind and didn't do she didn't come like we were finding a lost child that like at one point and Harry you know who is a piece of shit scum he, even he was like oh okay we'll go and do this you know maybe he was just doing it to blend in but like the point is he went to do it um no, and then Veronica didn't and she kept being like that and he got very suspicious because also at one point like he jokingly flirted with her expecting you know oh f off and she she went with it and it that freaked him out so much he was like but I was flirting so badly why and um he he basically became a bit obsessed. He he decided to kill her, right? Which is something I really didn't want to do, but the character did because the character was really suspicious of her and thought it's better that she's just not around. And um, and then, but the funny thing was, it kept going wrong. Like he kept, I kept rolling really badly because these dice were. Yeah, did. I kept rolling really badly every time I tried to go after her. So what ended up... It, so it, it it wasn't even about killing her anymore. It was to Harry just a point of principle because he kept trying. So he was like, okay, she's... Somehow she's managed to just avoid being killed all the... Like, quite a few times. So, yeah. He was like, no, now I have to kill her just for the principle of she escapes my wrath basically 
Um, eventually, he did kill her, but he managed to do it, luckily without anyone else knowing. I don't know how he pulled it off. But he basically managed to get her alone after a mission, as they were both going back. Um, and yeah, he basically threw a knife into her back, and and she didn't see it coming, um, and just pretty died. much one hit. Yeah, killed one hit her? was like a crit. It was the thing you needed, and it just it just killed her. Because also he had been preparing for this for quite some time. And uh, yeah, so she died, and we didn't know about that. We asked questions like, where'd she go, da, 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 but he managed to pawn it all off with bandits and all such things, and that was it. He actually put an arrow in himself. That's how dedicated he was to this. He was like, ah, oh, the bandits, they shot me, I ran away. And he was like, yeah, well, that's believable. And he almost got caught out by Samantha, but luckily I had a point of inspiration, um, and it just saved me. Like, I think she was slightly suspicious, but I'm I, glad, though. No, I think that worked out for the best, honestly, I do. Thanks for sticking around. If for some reason you liked this, go check out my page, where you can see more art and join streams. Link down below.